the International Bar Association's Human Rights Institute, IBA HRI, working with the global legal community to promote and protect human rights and the independence of the legal profession worldwide. The Human Rights Institute of the International Bar Association was created in 1995, and uh, uh, HRI's mandate is to promote and support uh, human rights, uh, as well as to uh, promote and support the independence of the legal profession under a just uh, rule of law. And it has played such a crucial role for the International Bar Association. The reason why the International Bar Association's Institute of Human Rights can step into areas that um, perhaps other NGOs and other organizations can't is because it has that great weight and heft that comes from belonging to an organization that brings together such incredible lawyering and judging from around the world. And that gives it convening power, it gives it influence, it gives it prestige, and it means that lawyers and judges um, are prepared to engage with us. The Human Rights Institute works all over the world. Uh, we've done over 200 projects in 75 jurisdictions. We undertake human rights training programs, we run fact-finding missions, we do trial observations. We work together with the legal profession for the practical implementation of human rights. Training and capacity building. We do capacity building with the legal profession and with bar associations so that uh, they are sustainable and effective organisations for the promotion of the rule of law. In-country fact-finding. This is so important that you can go to a country to visit the country and then interact with other lawyers, with other people, in particular I would say the civil society, to find out if this country respects human rights standards, if the judiciary, for example, is independent, if the legal profession is respected uh, and that the, it is understood the role that an independent uh, legal profession uh, uh, plays in a country under the rule of law. And this often results in reports where we draw conclusions and we also uh, make recommendations. Trial monitoring and advocacy. There are also situations where lawyers are being intimidated or uh, persecuted, even arrested, because of the work they do. And in such cases, we try to support them through advocacy, uh, but also through trial monitoring. In some jurisdictions, you find that uh, the law itself requires infusion of human rights values. And in other jurisdictions, the law is fine. I mean, the law is reasonably okay. But its administration requires attention. Uh, there is a need to attend to fair trial standards, for instance, in many of the jurisdictions where we have worked. International task forces. Task force on illicit financial flows, poverty and human rights. Our argument is that both tax evasion as well as tax avoidance can amount to a breach of human rights because they contribute towards poverty in many countries in the world. All this work is aimed at ensuring that we promote, support, enforce human rights, the rule of law, uh, independence of lawyers and judges throughout the world. When you look at what HRI does, and you look at the areas that it focuses on, time and time again it touches on the crucial issues dealing with the rule of law and human rights in every part of the world. For me, with my background in the courts, in the Ministry of Justice, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and as the Legal Counsel of the United Nations, this is uh, my determined opinion, and I think that it is absolutely necessary that the Human Rights Institute engages in this work. It is about bringing home why the rule of law matters, why safeguard, safeguards for citizens are vital in a, in a democracy. And, uh, and the world will trade with you, the world will do business with you, you will have the respect of the world if you're delivering those other things. And that democracy is nothing without the rule of law and the protection of human rights. <laughs>